Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Wildings Landing, or good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Thought I'd go over some of the things we're planning and then kind of show you around the Faith Garden. We haven't walked around there lately. <clears throat> it's in transition, and some things are going, some things are coming, you know, like everybody else's garden this time of year. Down here. Now, I mentioned that the Faith Garden is going to be in transition and be more herb and flower than vegetable producing. Um, I am going to still keep lettuces and kales and some things that are smaller in there. But for the most part, it's, it's going to be trans. I'm not going to have big vegetable plants in there anymore. So, we have verbena in mixed colors. Lots of catnip, which my cat will thoroughly enjoy me having. And I think that's all that I have over there. And then right over here, I've got edible mums, which will be really cool. This is celery. I've got a bunch of uh, seeds in there. I'll separate those out and put them out in one of the gardens out by the surprise garden. All of these... Although they're not all marked, but all of these are collards. Got a couple of sprouts of bamboo back there. Doc, if you're watching, I've gotten two to sprout so far, working on some more. And these, again, are the edible mums. There's a lot of seeds in those pots. I'm hoping they come up good. They're an experiment. And over here, we have lots of alyssum. In gold dust, I think there's 12 of those. Pretty much kept planting things in 12s and dozens. <laughs> there's a dozen collards, there's a dozen. Uh, yeah, over here we've got some peppers. We've got the Mamma Mia Galileo pepper from Haas Tools. That again is the uh, Mia Galileo. Some more of those edible mums. Lots of lavender. We've got banana peppers planted back here. Merlot or Merlot, however you want to say it. The guys from Hostels put them out. They say Merlot. I would say Merlot. Um, beaver dam peppers. Some more of those edible mums. This is a spare or uh, eggplant which obviously I need to repot we got a lot of rain it wasn't covered so I got a little overdone a little overdone and then we're gonna take a walk back here now we're at the back of the garden in my uh, makeshift greenhouse which is not a greenhouse whatsoever it's a set of shelves in the Sun it really only gets morning Sun though kind of hardening off some things these are the seeds I started a couple of weeks ago so far, no germination on the big kahuna green beans. No heartbreak there. Didn't really like the variety anyway. I'm just trying to plant up everything I've got. Lacinato kale, also known as dinosaur kale. That's taken off pretty good. Chardonnay carrots, a little early in the year for us to plant these, but I did it anyway. And we're doing pretty good with those. See those carrots all popping in there. These are the Bella Rosa tomatoes from Haas Tools. I think I counted 13 of them this morning. And next to those, we have the Homestead tomatoes. Those are a little bit bigger. They germinated a little bit faster. And we have some more, more of them. This is Yellow Onion from Haas Tool. And all these seeds are a couple of years old. Nothing is fresh ordered. Um only had one germinate so far back there back there right there just one and it doesn't even want to come into focus what the sam hill there we go got lots of red russian kale right here most of you can recognize that absolutely love that kale oh god i love that kale um, graffiti cauliflower. We have one that germinated. No, maybe two. Early snowball cauliflower. I see none. And garlic chives. I don't see any of those either. These are our cucumbers. We're going to get ready to get these in the ground. 
here real soon. I'm going to borrow some space where my corn was and put them there. Because I don't have anywhere to put them and they're ready to go in the ground. So they're kind of going there as desperation. This, what you see in our background here is the uh, sweet potato vines that are just going, you know, like everywhere through my tomato cages, through, yeah, they're everywhere. We'll take another look at those when we get to the other side of the fence, which we are headed there now.